If renewable energy is the cheapest that's ever existed, and we're always being told the UK has so much of it, then why are energy bills so high? First, you need to know how electricity prices are set. Constantly throughout the day, there are these giant auctions where all the electricity in the country is sold to the companies that supply our homes. And that electricity is actually made in different ways with different costs. It includes wind, solar, nuclear, coal, and one of the most expensive right now, gas. At these auctions, the most pricey electricity, which is bought last, usually set the price you and me have to pay. In effect, it means the price of electricity is pegged to the price of gas. The system was set up like this because gas power plants are expensive to run, and they need guarantees they'll be paid roughly enough to keep going. But that means that right now, even if you're signed up with a company that only deals in renewable energy, you still have to pay gas prices. At one point in September, offshore wind was actually nine times cheaper than the cost of gas. So how do we take those cheap renewables to make our bills lower? Well, the UK government is actively considering changing this whole system. And most agree that some kind of market reform is needed, where the price of expensive gas and cheap renewables are completely separated out. We actually spoke to several renewable energy companies who told us that doing that will be tricky, but could, if done right, lower bills significantly. Of course, all of this only involves the electricity part of your energy bill. If you use gas for heating, like most of us do, that part of your bill won't change. A two-year freeze on domestic energy prices has now been introduced, but that won't address the underlying causes of why they shot so high in the first place. So until the government decides how to cut gas prices, or in the long run how to stop using it completely, we're all stuck paying for expensive gas.